Hi there, this is Minav once again and welcome to the second episode of Tech You Should Know. So in this video, we are going to see what exactly is MAC address and how do you change it on Windows, Android and Mac. Now, like always, if you are only interested in a specific part of this video, then click on the timestamp appearing on the screen right now. However, I highly recommend you watch the complete video. You will definitely learn something new. So with that being said, let's get started. Okay, so what exactly is MAC addresses? Well, consider any device that can connect to the internet. It can be your computer, smartphone, tablet or even internet TV and Chromecast. If it can connect to the internet, it will always have a network card. Now, if it has a network card, then it always going to have a MAC address associated to it, which is hard coded to it when it is manufactured in the factory. So these MAC addresses are strings of number that are unique to each devices. Now, since no two devices can have a same MAC addresses, you can use it for a number of reasons. For instance, if I want to block a certain computer on a network, then I can simply block the MAC addresses. Or if I want to track a computer or a device on an open Wi-Fi, then I can simply track their MAC addresses. And well, guess what? Even though these MAC addresses are hardwired in your network card, you can still change it using some softwares. Now, one thing that I would like to make clear is, Changing MAC address is not illegal, but what you do with it can be illegal. It's like a tool. What, it, what you do with it, it's up to you. So keep that in mind. And with that being said, let's see how to change MAC addresses on Windows, Mac and Android. Okay, so let's start with the Windows computer. Now one thing to keep in mind is, since we have more than one network card, like one for Wi-Fi and one for Ethernet, you will most likely to have multiple MAC addresses. So first we have to find out which MAC address would you like to change. So to do this, open up your command prompt and then type in ipconfig slash all. And there you will see couple of physical addresses, which is also known as MAC address. Now the one that has IP address associated with it is the one that we are using right now. So if you are using internet from a Wi-Fi, then it will be the MAC address of your Wi-Fi adapter. So let's say I want to change that. So make a mental note of your MAC addresses or even copy it on your clipboard. Now open up device manager of your computer and then go to network adapter. Here find your network card whose MAC address you want to change and then right click on it and select properties. Next click on the advanced tab. Now if your network adapter do not support changing of MAC addresses then you won't find this area highlighted but for most of them they allow it. Now tap on this value field and enter the new MAC addresses without any special character or colon in between. I prefer to use the same MAC address and replace the last two character. This is easy to remember and don't cause any conflict with the network. But you can always use whatever MAC address you want. So save changes and that's it. Now you have successfully updated your MAC address. However, this is just temporary. If you restart your computer, then your MAC address will shift to the old MAC address. And usually this is a good thing. But if you want to keep it permanent, then you can use software like Technetium. And then check mark the settings that says make this new MAC address persistent. So this will add a script in your startup, which will automatically change your MAC addresses every time your computers reboot. Now let's see how to change MAC address on a MAC computer. So fire up your terminal and find your current MAC address. But this time the command will be ifconfig. So on Windows it is called ipconfig and on Mac and Linux it becomes ifconfig. So type that and hit enter and there you will see couple of MAC addresses of each network adapter. Now how do you find out which one are you using? Well look at the one that has IP address associated with it. This will be your current MAC address. And you can also confirm it by going to the system preference and then see the advanced settings of your current network and then go to hardware information. Now in this case, I want to change the MAC address of my Wi-Fi adapter, which happens to be Ethernet1. So I will type this in a command, sudo ifconfig Ethernet1 followed by the MAC address that you want to replace. Like the previous one, I will replace the last two digit of my current MAC address and then hit enter. You will also have to type in your login password since you are making a system level change. And that's it. Now if you check again, your MAC address is changed. But then again, this is just temporary. The changes will be gone once you restart your MAC. 
Now to make it permanent, you can always put some scripts in your startup folder. You can find more information on Google. Now mobile devices are slightly more complicated than desktop and to change a MAC address on your Android, you will need a root access. There is no other way without a root. So here is how you do it. First I will check out my MAC address by going to the settings and then copy it on my clipboard. Now go to the Google Play and search for change my Mac. So out of many applications that I have tested, this one works quite well and also don't require BusyBox install on your system. But yeah, your phone has to be rooted. So install it and then open it. Now here you can either generate a random MAC address or do what I do that is replace the last two characters of my original MAC address and then save the changes. And that's it, you have successfully updated your MAC address. But like the other two, this one is also temporary. And when you restart your device, your phone will revert back to the old MAC address. But unlike desktop, mobile devices don't restart every day. You can easily go a couple of weeks without any restart. However, if you want to make it permanent, then you can use Prefi app from Chainfire. Yes, the same developer who has made Super User app. So it has the option to randomize your MAC address even when you are connected to a Wi-Fi. But this can be risky because it is making some changes on the system files. So yeah, do it at your own risk. I personally don't like to go that far. Well, this is all for now. While making this video, I have done extensive research on MAC addresses. So if you guys have any question, let's discuss it in the comment section below. Also, let me know what topics would you like me to cover in the next episode. So that's it for now. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more tech tips and tricks for better life. And with that being said, thanks for watching.